I'm Laura Flanders, you're watching Grit TV, and on Grit TV we bring you the marginalized experts, the new experts of tomorrow, and the people with the closest eye view of what is happening in our economy today. With us here at the AFL-CIO convention right now are two people who are working on the clean car wash campaign. Talk about building worker power from the bottom up. These are workers who work in some of the most, well, the most vulnerable workplaces in our country. We have with us two people who know that story very well. Fausto Hernandez is a seven-year car wash worker here in LA, and Juliette Ovalle is working with the campaign as an organizer. Um, welcome both, thanks for coming. Fausto, welcome. Tell us a bit about your work. What is your day like at the car wash? Pues muy ahora sí que muy cansado. ¿Por qué? Porque hace mucho calor. Y uno está apurado con el trabajo, uno está sudando. Y no y no nos dan ni agua. No hay sombra. El patrón nos da mucha mucha carrilla para que nos apuren más. Y ahora sí que pues yo he trabajado por siete años en el carbaz. Y el, y el patrón nada más me paga, el, el emperador nada más me da, me paga tres horas, trabajo diez horas. Y yeah. he trabajado en esta industria por siete años ahora, y luego los bosses me a veces, yo he trabajado diez horas y me pagaba por tres. Y la propina, él se la roba, no la da. Y él se la roba. Así que, ¿qué es la Clean Car Wash campaña? ¿Y cómo te involucraste? ¿Qué es la campaña Clean Car Wash y cómo te involucraste tú? Ah, porque yo. Yo un día les hablé a ellos y ellos vinieron a, a protestar un lugar donde, donde estábamos trabajando porque... They call, I called them one day and they, they came out to help and uh, protest the place where I was working. Y por eso yo ahora sí que como nos despidieron ya de King Carguas, del Carguas, nos despidieron. Entonces nosotros estamos ya ahora sí de, ahora sí de brigadista en el King Carguas. Porque pues ahora sí no teníamos ahora sí otra salida porque ellos ellos nos están ayudando, ¿no? Porque pues. So I was fired from my workplace um, for organizing, and as of now I'm part of the brigade leadership program with the Clean Car Wash campaign, um, and you know because they 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 would take advantage of us at work. You were there for seven years, though. What gave you the idea that you could reach out to somebody for help, that you could organize? A lot of workers in your situation would just assume they were on their own and it was hopeless. How did you find that you could call this organization? Because many workers who are in the same circumstances that you say that they don't have hope. How did you find that? Because I saw it on the television, and that's why I told you that you could call this organization. Voy a, voy a poner mi queja ahí, dije yo. I'm going to go and, and complain there. The power of TV. The power of television. Sí, la televisión. Sí. What, what are you calling for? What do you want from the employers? And who is your demand being made of? Is it just the person that is writing your paycheck? Or is it somebody bigger? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tú le, le quieres de los patrones? ¿Y le estás dan, pidiendo exigencia solamente a un patrón o es algo más allá, alguna cosa más grande? No, es que queremos que nos respeten. We want to be respected. La hora, de, la hora sí que, la hora de lonche. Our lunch breaks, we want to... La, la hora este, de salida. The time that we, that we punch out. Y, y ahora sí que, pues, pues ellos, ellos casi la mayoría, pues, nos ponen a trabajar mucho tiempo. Most of them make us work very long hours. Y ahora sí que queremos agua, porque agua water. nunca hay, nunca never hay. Water. Y la sombra, pues, que estamos shade, abajo del sol. Under the sun. Sí. Y ahora sí queremos algo de protección para la cara. Okay, we want some some, queremos uh, so guantes, gear, guantes, botas, mascarilla Boots, para la nariz, uh, para el ácido. Masks porque, to work with the acid. Porque el ácido nos hace mucho daño para los ojos. Acid, uh, really y es lo que nosotros estamos ahora sí luchando para que se nos cumpla esa, esa ley que, que haya para los carguacheros, porque todos los compañeros están en la sombra. Están... For, um, for, for, for be one, uh, Your story reminds me of the stories of the farm workers. 
Uh, tu, tu historia me recuerda mucho de la historia de los trabajadores del campo. And the farm workers were able to get some protection with a union and with community work and community organizing. Do you model yourself and your campaign on the farm workers? Sí, porque organizándonos todos tenemos fuerza para luchar contra el patrón. Porque uno solo no puede hacer nada, pero to, si todos amamos, todos nos ponemos contra él. Sí, porque ya eso que ellos hacen es una injusticia con nosotros. Yours is becoming a national campaign. What does that mean? How many car wash workers are organized or how many places are organized? Is it a campaign national? In what places are they organized? And how big are the workers? No, pues it's very big. It's a campaign very big. That now, now, that now, 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 son muy, muy, muy canijos con, the, the owners, too, you know, the really con los trabajadores. Juliet, as an organizer, is there anything you want to add to this picture? Because it's, it's a horrendous situation that Fausto is up against, but there is some good news, as I understand it. Uh, definitely. So, um, there's, um, so the organizing effort started about um, six years ago here in Los Angeles, but uh, since then it's spread to Chicago and New York, and there's even one car wash in Mexico, in New Mexico. Uh, um, so, you know, it's growing, and workers around the country, a lot of them have the same issues. Um, so here in LA, it's 10,000 workers in that industry, the car wash industry. I'm not sure how much in Chicago and New York, but it is significant. And workers are winning. Um, we've had we've had victories across the country in terms of union contracts. Que luchen como nosotros luchamos, y eso es lo fuerte de la campaña porque la campaña los va a apoyar, los va a apoyar también. Que nosotros vamos para adelante con apoyar a otros compañeros para vencer a cualquier patrón aquí en California. And what difference is the AFL-CIO making? Well, you know, they decided to partner on this campaign, right? They um, brought in the steel workers, and this campaign would not have existed without the, the, the collaboration of the AFL-CIO, the UCLA Labor Center, and um, the steel workers, uh, local 675, uh, here locally out of Carson, but also the international. So um, it really shows, you know, work unions coming together, the Federation coming together to really give a voice to these workers, you know, not, well, not necessarily give them because they don't need to be given their voice, they have a strong voice, but having them, you know, give the resources to build that power among themselves and put them here in, in front of the stage to tell people what is really going on in the industry. I mean, it's pretty incredible for workers in the sort of situation that they're in, many of them working with people who don't speak their own lang the same language in fairly isolated situations. It's not like they're checking in clocking into a workplace, if you guys can organize, kind of anybody should be able to do it. Do you have a message for workers who may be feeling, as you were maybe once, watching the TV, thinking, I wonder if I could do that, but maybe are a little scared? No, pues que no le tenga miedo porque... Porque hay una organización que nos apoya. There's an organization that supports us. Que ellos no están solos. That they're not alone. Ellos no nos dejan. Que salen adelante. No tengan miedo, compañeros. Good, porque for them to move porque forward, el miedo no, no hace nada, compañero. The fear doesn't do anything. Por el miedo nosotros estamos, estamos como estamos, compañero. Pero we si nosotros... Si nosotros hablamos lo que es... If we talk about what, what's going on, la comunidad se entera lo que está pasando con, find out what's con el pueblo. With our community. Final question. Do you see a future? What's, what do you want for your son? You say you have one son. What do you want for him in his work life? Dice que tú quisieras ver para él en su vida del trabajo. I would like for him to be better. Mejor para que no sufran sus hijos. So his kids don't suffer. Para que los hijos salgan adelante. So his no kids sufran. Could, you know, be successful. 
Eso es todo, gracias. Great, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much, Julia. That was beautiful.